Well, today we're going to talk about electricity. Now, uh, there's two kinds. Uh, it seems like it's really difficult to understand, but it's not. Uh, when I first started to learn, I, I felt like a dummy. I didn't know what to do, what to use. There's two kinds of electric boxes, and there's only one that I'll ever use. There's one called a PID. I don't use it. I won't use it. It stands for, I think, Proportional Inter uh, Integral Derivative. And what it does is PID box will heat up this element. Full blast, and as soon as it reaches your set temperature, it cuts off. And then your temperature lowers, it heats up full blast, cuts off. That's not ideal for making moonshine or any alcohol. You're, you're fluctuating your temperature. You want to keep your temperature at one set point. So then comes the SCR, and that's what you want if you're going to go electric. SCR, I think, stands for silicone rectifier... Uh, Silicone uh, relay, rec I don't know, silicone rectifier, something like that. Um, what SCR does is it, you can take this, for example, this is a 240. This is a 240, and this is a 120, right? And on both of them, they have a knob. It's so easy. You're starting out, you turn your temperature all the way up. This goes up to like 15 amps or something like that. You go all the way up, you watch your thermometer, and it's so easy to run. It's so much easier than running with fire, anything. You go all the way full blast, and your temperature gauge on your still, or, or when you start noticing a drip or you're getting ready to drip, then you want to cut it back to about 7 or maybe even 5, depending on your still, the size of your still and in your heating element. So there's multiple kinds of heating elements. There's two kinds of SCR. There's a 240 and a 120. Now you could run on, you know, this is a 2000 watt heating element. You could wire this up, run it in here. It would run like a, if you run two of them, they're, you know, you're, you're going to get you can heat up quick. Let's say if you have a keg with uh, two ports, you have two of these running in a keg, and you got two of these boxes, so you can heat up quick. Now, only running one of these, you'll heat up, but it'll take a lot longer. Um, now, if you had a pony keg or a six lit keg, that's plenty. 2,000 watt, it'd heat up quick enough. But if you're just running one and you got a 15 gallon Keg, it's going to take a little longer than you you know you want it to. The point of switching is not waiting on on it to heat up with fire, but you can get a quick heat up time with with uh, with a uh, with a jet burner. However, uh, the other reason is no fire. You're indoors, no fumes set it forget it you could walk away from it without having to worry about burning your house down the number one thing to run an electric is always make sure that there's liquid covering this the best elements to me already have a ferrule on them i like this one it's from denord i'm going to make a video on how to wire this up uh, i'm going to put this box on it i'm waiting on a plug for them. it's coming today it's a plug that's going to come. I'm going to run wires. I'm going to run it into the back of this. Then out the side, I'm going to put the wire that runs to the plug that runs to this box. A lot of people make these. Um, I made this one. I got another video coming out where I show you how to make this. Uh, I think we got a parts list from Texas Papa. Uh, I believe that's where we got it. Uh, on TikTok, he had a parts list. I'll put the parts list in the description of the video that I show you how to make this. Make this out of an ammo can. And I made this for, I think, less than 40 or 50 bucks. 
it works, it's functional, it will run, uh, you know, something like this, 2000 watt. This is a 5500 watt. This is the one I'm going to put in my big still that I got from uh, Copper Still Co. If you do order a still like mine uh, from Copper Still Co, it comes with one. But I told him not to give me one because I have one. I already have a box. My buddy Toxic Water gave me this box a while back. Uh, but, you know, lots of people make them and sell them. You can make your own. They're fairly easy to make. I'm, uh, I'm going to do videos on how to make, make them. I'm probably going to start selling heating elements and, and uh, boxes on my site. Uh, but like I said, if you, if you order a, a still that's made to run electric, they usually come with it. But uh, that's the difference, man. I know it's a lot on a lot of people. They're like, where do I go? What do I do? Uh, the PID, just to me, you don't want to go hot and then cool down. Hot and then cool down. It's not the best for, for distilling. Some people will disagree with me. Um, this is my opinion. And uh, that's just how I feel. I think SCR is so much better than PID. And I'm glad this is the route I took. Uh, but it's really easy to use. If you're going to have a 240, of course you got to have a 30 amp plug, uh, a 240, you know, 240 plug. If you know, you could use your dryer outlet, but if that's inconvenient, you could either wire yourself one up or pay an electrician. Um, you plug this into your 240. You run a plug from this. You put this in your still. I'll show you how how it'll look where it goes and uh, you know you can't buy these cheap little this is a little copper 2000 watt uh, 120 volt but my thing about it is you got to have a, an adapter it, I, I like going straight from a ferrule you know go straight from a ferrule you just you know put a gasket over this thing, you try clamp it to your still, and you're running with electricity. It's a lot easier than than, it, than you probably think it is. So if you know what, what you're doing, this video ain't for you. If you've done this, you understand it. But really, it's nothing to be scared of, and I'm gonna be honest with you. You maintain the same exact temperature that you choose the whole time you're distilling when you run with SCR. You can set it. It's set by amperage, but you're gonna you're gonna get a feel for it and you're gonna know your still. Just like every time I run a still, first time, you know, takes that first time to figure it out. Every time after that, you, you that stills your bitch. You're running the best liquor ever. I've ran uh, a lot of different stills and I will every time I see something new that I haven't ran, I'm like I gotta run that. So I got to get one. Um, if you're ready to move on to electricity, check it out. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm going to put a lot more help videos out there. I, I need to explain a lot of things. A lot of people need answers for some of this stuff. And, you know, like it took me forever to figure out where to find these boxes. But these are cool. You know, you put your sticker on them. Um, I'm going to get a, a, a copper still co sticker for this because this is going to go to my still. Uh, I'll probably build another one of these boxes and I'm going to build some more of these. I might start selling these boxes on my site. I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, this is so easy to build, man. Look inside here. You need an outlet. I stole this power plug from some electronics. I got a recycling thing. Um, and basically you need a, this LCD screen and this little SCR controller right here. It's pretty simple, man. Pretty simple. I got a video of it, if I could find it. I made it a while back. Um, 
but I hope that helped anybody who's uh, wanting to know about about running electric through your still. It's so much easier than you think, and it's it's just it's you can lay back when you don't have to stress out, keep an eye on it so hard. The only thing you're gonna have to keep eye on now is uh, put nice in your condenser, keeping the water cold. You got that figured out, man. <laughs> it's a lot less stress and, and making some moonshine. Uh, I got that figured out. I bought me a water chiller. It's expensive, but that's the route I wanted to go. I don't have the luxury of being on a well, so I can't just dump water outside, hot water, and just let it go. I recycle it. Um, keeps me from to buy ice, but you know, $600 is a lot of ice. Either way, that's off topic. Uh, I hope this helps some of you. Uh, I'm going to make some more help videos uh, on some other things, describing things that people might not know about. But uh, I'll, I'll that's it. See y'all later.